Hello, Assalamu alaikum Arabic language fans. In the previous lesson, we talked about the short vowels. In this lesson, we will focus on the long vowels. So stay tuned with me. So in the last video, we discussed that there are three main short vowels. The Fatha, the Kasra, the Dhamma. The Fatha, the Kasra, the Dhamma. And we said that these short vowels are like quarter notes, for example. They are very short in time. So we have A, the Fatha, E, the Kasra, U, the Dhamma. The same pronunciation, but with a longer time duration, give us the long vowel. So for the Fatha, we have the corresponding long vowels, al vowel Alif, which is A. So instead of A, it's A. For the Kasra, we have the corresponding long vowel, which is E, which is the Ye, E. So Kasra, E, Ye, E. For the Dhamma, we have the corresponding short um, long vowel of the Wow, the Wow, which is U. So the Kasra, U, and the Wow is U. Some examples. Let's start by the long vowel Aleph. We have, for example, the word bab, means in English ador, ador, bab. So you can see that here the alif is a long vowel, bab. It's not bab, it's bab, so it's long. The same way for the word deen, which is religion, for example, deen, deen. So deen is, um, this is a word uh, with a long vowel in the middle, which is a ya. Yeah. Deen. Um, another word like for example Noor which is light Noor Noor so it's it's long and it's the letter Wow in the middle of the sentence Noor so Bab is a long vowel Alif in the middle Deen is a long vowel Ya yeah, in the middle Noor is a long vowel Wow in the middle Now we talk about the soft alif or al alif al maqsura al alif al layyana. So layyana in Arabic means soft. The soft alif. So what do we mean by the soft alif? Sometimes you find in the Arabic language some words that has the ending alif but it's written ya. Yeah. For example, if you have um, the particle on in English on so ala on so it's something is on is on something we have the glass on the table for example um, the al kub ala al mindada al kub ala al mindada so ala here it's not ain lam alif it's ain lam ya ala uh, other examples um, we say, for example, uh, to, to, ila, ila. So, toward or to is ila. So, alif, lam, ya, maqsura. Or alif, layyana. Ila, ila. Um, another example could be, for example, when. The question particle when. Meta in Arabic. Meta. So it's not mati, mati, it's meta, and it's meme, ta, ya, without dots, meta. And here the pronunciation is alif, but it's written ya. This is a soft, a soft alif, or alif maqsura, or alif layyana. It's also common in Arabic to see some words where the alif is pronounced in the word, but it's not written. So you pronounce the alif as a long vowel, but you don't write it at all. For example, if you want to say um, this, this, this in Arabic means hada, hada, this, hada. So hada, if you want to um, write it um, normally without without paying attention to this rule that we told, uh, you will write it as follows. Ha, alif, dal, alif. Hada. But in reality, in Arabic, we don't write that. We write ha, dal, alif. 
Okay, somebody may tell me where the second alif, where the vowel. Here, this is called a miniature alif. A miniature alif. So it's an alif that is a small form of alif. It's not written. So, هذا. This is one example. We also have another example, like, for example, this or that. ذلك. ذلك. So, هذا. ذلك. So, هذا is for something that we are pointing at. But ذلك is for something that is away from us and we are talking about it's not in front of us. ذلك. So, for example, ذلك here, we have ذل لام كاف. So, it's not ذل ألف لام كاف. ذل لام كاف. Where did the ألف go? It's a miniature ألف. It's just pronounced but it's not written. So, this was a quick overview about the long vowels in, in Arabic. So, we talked about the alif, the ya, the waw, and how they are longer form in time compared to the short vowel. And also, we talked about two very important um, uh, rules in Arabic. We have the soft alif, and we have also um, the miniature alif. And these are very, very important. And if you read the Arabic language, you will, feel, you will see many, many examples um, of these uh, forms within the Arabic texts. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you like this video. Um, li if you like this video, don't forget to, to share it so that you can benefit as many people as, as possible. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be part of this co uh, channel community. If you have any question, write to me in the comment section and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and see you in future videos.